Good morning. This week's devotion is the ah of prayer. At our clergy retreat, one of the questions they asked us is, what do you need right now? And my honest answer was, I don't know. Sometimes when you get stressed or your life gets crazy or when you, your to-do list needs 40 hours a day to get things done or when things seem to be falling apart, you may know that you need God's help but have no idea what you need. So you just don't know what to ask for that will get things back to normal. You may want to scream or throw things, and it's frustrating, and you have no clue what to pray. Well, this week is Pentecost, and we remember the gifts of the Holy Spirit. One of the scriptures from this week, from Romans, I have always found comforting. When I am at wit's end. Listen to Romans 8, 26 through 27. Likewise, the Spirit helps us in our weakness, for we do not know how to pray as we ought, but that very Spirit intercedes with groanings too deep for words. And God, who searches hearts, knows what is the mind of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for the saints according to the will of God. That's one of the most comforting thing things I have ever heard. When I am stressed and frazzled, it reminds me that God already knows what's going on. God knows our hearts and minds. When all, all we can think to pray is, ah, or help, the Spirit takes those desperate cries and carries them to our loving Heavenly Father. We may not know what we need, but the Spirit does. The Spirit intercedes for us. And that very thought that God will intercede and will understand my stressed out cry of frustration gives me peace. I shared a meme on Facebook this week that was one of those felt message boards that they often found in schools and churches growing up where you stick the letters into the felt grooves. At the top it said, Dear Jesus, and then just a ridiculous jumble of letters pushed into the felt. They overlapped, they were stacked on top of each other, many were upside down. Then at the bottom it said, Amen. And underneath it, it had God's answer. Don't worry, I've got you. And hey, P.S., I love you. I think that's exactly what this passage is about. When you're so stressed out, when you're at your wit's end, remember, you don't need to know what to pray. Just cry out to God. God knows what you need. And the Spirit is here to translate the deepest cries of your heart. Have a blessed week.